So this is the barite crystal we pulled out today. 675 grams. So we're out looking for a new place to dig. So let's dig here. So I have a couple feet of topsoil to remove. And then I start running into the rock layer. So I'm able to break those up and lift them out. So eventually that opens up into a small crevice. I'll keep digging that crevice out. And we find a crystal. It's a nice barite crystal. So we're moving more rocks so I can get to it. Try to remove the crystal intact. Oh, we're trying to dragon tooth inside the crevice. Find another one inside the crevice. These had already detached from the rock and were just sitting on the bottom. So we dig down through the overbird until I hit more rock. And John shows up and helps me dig. Colorado Rock Company. He got to see the exciting part. So you can see we've opened up this egg. It's about three feet across or about a meter. And so far we've found three or four structures of crystals within it. We'll keep digging down. Carefully removing the, the rock. So there's the barite crystal that we removed. And there's a dragon tooth. So John kept at it and eventually we got that crystal loose. Next day I came up, 
to see what else I could remove. There's a crystal there. And more crystal down in here. Very carefully trying to remove this rock. The crystal's right underneath it. So we're getting some fragments. I discovered there's a whole lot more crystal down in this pocket than I realized. Well, it's a calcite, but it's very clear calcite. So there's the barite crystal. Showing up on the surface. There's another one to the right of it. So I'm going to try to uncover those without destroying them. Moved that rock and exposed quite a bit of crystal. I happen to look up and see this in this little hole in the back. Very nice point. Just sitting there, not even attached. So trying to expose the crystals. There we got it. Split up a little bit. Collect all the little fragments.
Hold the dragon teeth in place. Very large dragon tooth calcite structure behind it. I'll remove these. It leaves some calcite seams behind them. It's about an inch thick. Another seam over here. So I counted more than 50 points, counting the very, very little ones in there. Again, this is the largest crystal I found to date at 675 grams. All the sides are beautiful. This is how it came out of the ground. I washed the dirt off. A little bit of the brown barite, quite a bit of the clear. But the point structures are just fascinating. I've never seen a pyramid point like that before. Trying to get the light to reflect off of them. And most of the barite on the outside is perfectly clear and you're looking at the brown barite on the inside of the crystal. So here's some of the calcite that came out. Along with a nice barite, you usually find very clear calcite. Dragon teeth. It was orange in color until I put it in acid bath, cleaned it up. Just a few seconds in acid makes it clear. Here's a much bigger tooth. First day out, that's the biggest dragon tooth we've ever found. Where it was attached to the rock. But the next day, I got this off the rock wall. It's a little over six inches wide. Pretty rough, but still a dragon tooth. I broke off the left side right there, getting it out. That was attached to the calcite seam behind it. And that is the biggest tooth we've recovered. Thank you for watching.